Okay. Uh, we will answer the last meeting. Uh, we have I have introduced you to you know, to new topic which is Boolean algebra. So now we will uh, solve the practice test because uh, the next meet the next week we will introduce a new topic. You know? And then after which we will have a third formative test. Okay. Third formative test, and then we'll have a new no, we'll have a new uh, topic again no, on programming. Okay. Any questions so far? So for today we are going to solve. Now I'll just have to close this because there are problems with Excel, no? especially if so many pages are open. Uh, I have already solved this. No? The solution is there in Dagger. Okay. But I encourage everyone to, okay, to solve this on their own so that during the actual exam, you know how to solve the problems. No? Okay. So th there are 16 items. No? So each item is in one sheet. Okay. And then, by the way, uh, the solution here comes in. In terms of uh, a zip file, it comes in a zip file because I've noticed that there's problem when uploading uh, a cedar logic file, a cedar logic file in Excel, or rather in Daigler. It will not be able to recognize it. So uh, if you don't know the solution, the solution is as zip file no? and you have to extract it it comes into forms no? there's a cedar logic file and there's also uh, an excel file this is the excel file that you will download no one two one two three four five fourteen fifteen sixteen okay do you follow <coughs> and then uh the cedar logic file is this no So this is the Cedar logic file. You have page one, okay, which is for problem one, page two, which is for problem four, page three, which is for problem six. No? There are three pages that are used. No? Okay. Any questions so far? No. So I am going to reconstruct some of the circuits today to show you how to solve the exercises. Okay. Any questions so far? So you can download them already if you like. No. Okay, and let me put this aside first. I hope you can see my screen now. So uh, let's take the exam anyway. Now. So this is question number one, if you have solved this. Uh, I'm not sure now, there's so few attempts yet. Okay, anyway, our exam will still be about two or two weeks, two or three weeks away. So you can still take this you know, and use this as your study guide. Okay, first problem. Given the following expression, what is the equivalent mean term expression? Okay. Or when you say mean term expression, we also mean the sum of products form. Okay, sum of products or mean term expression, which means that we will have a, each term is a sum, or rather it's a product. Okay, now if you take note, okay, can you see my, you know, can you see the screen? I hope you can see the screen. If you take note, no, uh, we have how many terms? A, B, C, not D, A, not B, C. Okay, we have three terms. Now, uh, ter term, the first term, A, B, is not a mean term because it doesn't have a vari the variable C. Okay, C, not D is not a mean term because it doesn't have the, val the variables A and B. No, A, B does, uh, lacks C and D. Okay. And the second term is not a mean term because it lacks A and B. The third term is not a mean term because it lacks D. Do you follow? Everyone. So how are we going to go about this? Well, there's a process no? in Boolean algebra on how to go about this. But you can also use uh, Cedar logic. And that's a process that I'd like you to do because the Boolean algebra process is rigorous, although there is an item here now where I will use that process. No? Okay, 
very rigorous and it may take you a long time. Unlike when you use Cedar Logic, it will be easy. Anyway, you're a freshman, so you're excused to that rigorous process no? of uh, computing the mean term expression, okay? In your higher years, you will not be allowed to do this, okay? So first, we are given the following expression, okay? Uh, and then how do we go about this? We are going to construct the truth table, okay? Let me just, uh, in the solution I have already given, no, raise this first. This is the, exp the same expression that we have. We are going to construct the truth table. So this is the input A, B, C, D. This is the output Y. And for the rows, we generate a binary series count starting from zero to 15. Why 15? Because uh, we have uh, four variables. No? So all in all, you will have 16 rows from zero to 15. So this is zero, zero, this is zero, this is one, two, three, four, five, until you reach 15. 15 is the last count where the actual value is one, 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 okay? Okay, now uh, what we'll do is identify the mean terms, okay? Given this expression, what's, what are the mean terms? We'll have to use a dar logic, no? This is number one. Let me erase this first. Okay. Sir, excuse me, yes. sir. Yes. Um, hindi makapasok si Anya, sir. Si Anya, okay. Okay. Hindi lang ha. Because I was told, yep, yeah, sir. Uh, there are three of them. Yes, sir. So anyway, I'll check the attendance again later, okay? Aresa, Juan, and Tanduyan, okay? So they're here. I'll check the attendance again. Huh? Nasa waiting si Guting. I've admitted Guting before. Okay, but he's gone, okay? No, it's there, no? Again. Yeah, this is the second time I've admitted him. I'll check the role again, okay? Okay, so anyway. So this is our, this is the same expression. I've, I've, I've used uh, a decoration for this. Now I've shown this to you earlier, no? Rather last meeting, right? So these are just text decorations and I have the labels A, B, C, and D, okay? To construct the circuit, I'm going to use a switch for each of the input and I'm going to use a lamp or a LED, no? in green LED in the output. No? So what we're going to do is, uh, Need to say input output. This will be the input A, B, C, and D. Now, and then we will have the output Y here. Okay, do you follow? No. And then we usually make a connection, no, this one, so that uh, without this, we can only connect one point to an another, no? So point to point connection. However, if you have this, we can connect one point to three other points. No? In this case, we need this connector because if you take a look, we use A twice. No? So we cannot connect A more than once if you do not have this. And we use B twice and we use C twice. So therefore, we really need to have a connection. And then we just connect the, uh, the switches there, okay? And then you can, you can, you can check. You can arrange it a little bit if you like. Okay. So you have A, B, C, and B. Do you follow? Paraiso is here. No? <coughs> Any questions so far? So uh, we are going to construct the circuit. First, we have A and B. So we need a two input and gate. We we'll put a two input and gate here. And we'll connect this to A. And we'll connect this to so it's okay. Do you follow? No. Just click on the blank space. And then the next is C not D. So we need a two input and gate and a not gate because there's a not for the D. So we need a two input and gate no. and a not gate. Where's uh there's it's here, no?
So we are going to connect this to a not, this not gate to the B. Okay. Do you follow? And then this is C. Okay. Do you follow? Okay. This is C and not a B. And the third is a three input AND gate because we have A, B, C. A three input AND gate and a NOT gate. Okay. So we need a three input AND gate and a NOT gate. So we go to invert and then get, get a NOT gate. This is for the B. Do you follow? The NOT gate is for the B. So we'll just go here and then connect. Okay. Looks okay. And then we'll connect an A. Still okay. And then we will connect a C. Okay, so it's no problem so far, no? Okay, okay, okay naman siya. And then uh, we'll connect it, everything will connect with an OR gate. So we need a three input OR gate. Okay, so we need a three input OR gate, it's here. Like that. And then this output we connect to this again, to this indicator. Okay, it's connected already. Did it go? Okay. The valve. So we have the correct circuit now. Now uh, we go back to our Excel worksheet here. We are going to examine the output for each row, and we will hunt for values of one because mean terms are those rows in the, our uh, truth table where the output is one, okay? The result is one, okay? So we start with zero, 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 zero. So we have zero, 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 zero. Uh, this is a block. A block indicates a zero, okay? So we'll just record it here, but we'll ignore it because we are looking for ones. We're not looking for, we are looking for red ones. No? We're not looking for black ones okay we're not looking for black uh, output okay so the next is zero 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 one so we'll just click this so this, this becomes a red but this is now a one okay so the result is still a black so this is a zero we'll ignore that no we'll just proceed and then we'll have zero zero one zero so this is a zero it's a one this is a red this is what we are looking for no? okay so uh, this is a mean term because this is a one. We will write the mean term here. So the mean term is not A, not B, C, not B. You follow? Why is it like that? Because zero means not A, the second zero is not B, and the, the one here is C, and the last zero is not B. So just, this is just how we convert this, okay? So we found one mean term. We'll go to the next to find one again. The next value is 0, 0, 1, 1. We just pick it from our truth table. So this is black, so therefore it's just a zero. So we'll ignore that, that for the moment. And then we'll have 0, 1, 0, 0. So, this, so we'll have 0, 1, 0, 0. This is black, so this therefore we'll just ignore that. It's a zero. No? And then we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Still a block, zero, one, zero, one, still a block, so we'll ignore. And then we'll have zero, one, one, zero. Zero, one, one, this is a one, and this is a zero. This is a red, so this is another mean term. Okay, that's, that's what we are looking for. We have A, not A, because it's a zero, B, B C, and uh, not a D, okay? Any questions so far? No. Okay. And then the next is zero one 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 one. So this is zero one one, and we click this to become a red. It's black. Why is black? So uh, therefore, we just have to ignore that. And then we we'll have one zero zero zero. So this is one zero zero zero. This is a black. So we'll ignore that. And then we'll have one zero zero one. We'll click this. This is a block, so we still ignore that. It's a zero. And then we'll have 
one zero one zero. So we'll have one zero one zero. This is red. So therefore, this is a mean term. Okay. So therefore, we'll we'll have it as okay a because that's one, not b, c not b. Any questions so far? Huh? So a is one. Not B is B because it's zero, and C is because of one, and not B it's because of zero. Okay. Any questions so far? So the next value is one zero one one. We pick it here. We'll just make it what's one zero one one. We'll just turn this into a red. It's also a mean term, so therefore we'll mark mark this as one. Okay. So we'll have this as A, not of B. C, D, all right? Okay. Then the next value is one, 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 zero, zero. It's here, no? One, one, zero, zero, zero. It's red. So therefore, this is another, no? This is another uh, mean term. So we have A, B, not of C, not of D, okay? Any questions? All right. So they have one one zero one. So we have one one zero one. So this is another another mean term. We have A B not C B. Okay. Any questions? And then we'll have one one zero. So this is also another one. So we'll have another mean term. This is a one. So we'll have A B C not not of D. Okay. Then finally, we'll have one, 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 one. That's a red, so that's another mean term. We'll have A, B, C, D. Okay. Now I have made a formula to concat, so this is the answer, the expression. Okay. And then uh, we don't have to write it that way. We can just look for the mean terms in, in the answer. From the answer, we look up for this uh, mean terms. Okay. Any questions? Save this. I've also written the answer here. So we'll go back to our test. Okay. How many mean terms we have? We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll just count now. Uh, the lines which have eight mean terms because those who do not have eight mean terms automatically are not included no? because there's a, there has to be eight mean terms one two three four five six seven eight no? so we have one two three four five six so this is not it one two three four five six one we'll count the plus one two three four five no and then add one six we have six uh, terms but we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should have eight. So letter A is not the correct answer. No? For letter C, one, two, we count the, the, the plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This could be it. No? And then for the third, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is not it. Okay, so seven lang. We count again one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's it's eight, pala, because we add one, so this could be it, no. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This. So the candidate answers will be C, D, and E. So we look up for this A not B not A not B C not D A B not not B C A not B A. Oh, so there's there should be a not A. So ito ito lang dalawa. Ano oh, tatlo, no. A not B, C not D. A not A not B. So this cannot be. It need to be there, no? And because uh, we need a an A not B, C. A not B, C not C. Ito eh. So it be So we can have we can focus on this. Uh, but but you have to check each one, no? Because they may not be in the same order, no? Anyway, so not A B. C, C, D, not A, B, C, not D. So this one, 
this one and this one, they qualify, you know? Uh, not A, B. No. Uh, the third one doesn't qualify. So we'll focus on this, no? Okay, A, not, not A, B, C, not D, and then the third is A, not B, C, not D, which is this. So, okay, the fourth is A, not B, C, D, A, not B, C, D, which is this. The third is A, B, A, B, A, B, not C, not D, sorry. This is the one we're looking for the last three one two three so that the, the last three is a b not c d and this one is a b c not d and we have a b c d so major makai bite no in the sense that uh, they have they are different in the, th the second so letter d is the correct answer here no Do, any questions <coughs> okay <clears throat> Okay, be follow. So uh, that that's the that the answer, no? So we have it here, and then we also have the corresponding uh, Sidor logic circuit. Okay, any questions so far? So let's go to number two. So for number two, let's find out what it is, no? For number two, given the following expression, what is the equivalent POS canonical form? So this is also max term, which means POS canonical form in max term form. Okay, max term form. Now, do we need to create a Sidor logic circuit here? Do we need a Sidor logic circuit? Anyone? We only need a Sidor logic circuit if we do not have the mean terms or the max terms. No, but if you look at the expression, you have A, B, C, not D, that's a mean term. A, not B, C, D, that's a mean term. A, not B, not C, D, that's a mean term. A, not A, B, C, D, they are all mean terms. So therefore, we do not need to create a circuit to find the mean terms because they're already given. Okay? They're already given, so uh, we don't have to create a Sidor logic circuit. So let's go to number two. So A, B, C, D, no? So ito. Uh, we'll just erase this for the moment. Okay. So we'll just uh, identify the mean terms because those that are not mean terms are automatically max terms, right? Do you follow? So that's the case. So we have A, B, C, not D. So that's that's... That's one, 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 zero. One, 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 zero. Next is A not B, C, D. So that's one, zero, one, one. One, zero, one, one. This one, okay? And the third is A not B not C, D. So that's one, zero, zero, one. One, zero, zero, one, okay? And the last is not A, B, C, D. That's zero, one, one, one. Zero, one, one, one. So these are the mean terms. Okay, so now let's identify the, ma the max terms. There are the zeros. Which rows are the max terms? Okay. Dito, these are the, we will look for the max terms. No? So what is this? This is A plus B plus C plus D. Do you follow? Because when we write down the max terms, we use the opposite rule, where if it, there's a zero, we'll write the plain form of the variable. And there's a one, we write the com complemented form of the variable. Okay? So this is what? We'll just copy this, because there's only one difference. Okay? okay and the answer of this, is, and, the, and the, the max term for this is not D. Why? Because there's only one, at the end, no, it's a one. So D should be complemented. We'll just also copy this to make things faster. Now in here, it's the C that's complemented. Okay. Because the one is on the third position. Okay. Zero, zero, one, zero. And then we can copy this because 
okay uh, the fourth one okay is, is also a complemented variable so we just put an not be there make things faster okay now uh for this uh b should be complemented so we'll just copy this only b is complemented so we'll just change this is not b do you follow okay now in this case they are almost the same now this is another zero so uh Instead, we also include D because D is one, so we, we have to complement D. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. Ito, uh, this, this, there's another mean term. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, the difference is D should be, D should be not complemented and C should be complemented because it's a one. Do you follow? Okay. Now we'll skip this because this is a this is a mean term. Okay. And then we'll just copy this above because the next max term has a complemented A. Control C. This has a complemented A because only A only A is is one. Okay. Okay. Follow. Okay. And then the second one is, the next one is where D is also complemented. Okay. Oh, no, this is not included because it's a one, okay? You follow? But however, the next one, there's another zero where C should be complemented, okay? You follow? No? And then we'll have this, copy this. This is a zero. We're only applying this to zeros. No? So we'll have A and B are the complemented variables because they are ones. And C and D are the, the, the normal variables because they are zeros. Okay. You can also copy this. In the actual test, you could do this faster because I'm, I'm speaking at the same time. No? Okay. One one zero one. So the not D is a the D is complemented. And then at the last we will have all complemented. Okay. We follow. So now we pick this from our choices, list of choices. We have A, B plus C plus C. How many do we have? Okay. Uh, since we have one, two, three, four. So we should have 12 max terms. Can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 max terms. Okay. So we'll just remove the those that do not have 12. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's good. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this uh, letter C cannot be a choice because it's only eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So letter D is not a choice because it's there's only ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on, obviously it's letter A, no? Let, letter A, we can just check, no? The mean terms. We have A, B plus C plus D, plus A, B, and C, not D, no? And then A plus C, and obviously, no? Anyway, you, you check this out yourself. Now you compare each one to the terms written, and I think you will have the right answer as letter A. Okay? For the moment, any questions so far? Let me drink. Ah, yeah. Okay. So we are converting you know, from the mean term to the max term expression. Okay. We go to the next problem. It's number three. What is the POS canonical form? We are already given the expression. No? We don't need a circuit. 
Why? Because we can already write down the, mean ter the max terms. We know the max terms already. Huh? POS means max terms. No? SOP means mean terms. We will have one, two, three. Okay, three max terms, right? So we'll, this is number three, by the way. So we have three max terms. So the first is A, B plus not to C. The next is not A because A is a one plus B plus C. The third is not A plus B plus not to C, okay? So uh, anyway, what do we have? A, B plus not to C. Not, and then not of A in data per day. So we'll have uh, first A, B plus not of C. So ito silang tatlo, no? And then we have not of A, B plus C. And uh, this one is not good because we have A and C. So this is the correct answer, okay? Any questions so far? All right. <coughs> We'll go to number three. And this is now number four. No? X, Y, Z. These are the, no. Uh, we are going to look for the mean terms, right? How do we look for the mean terms? Uh, X, Y, X doesn't have a, this one doesn't have an X, a Z. The second doesn't have an X. And the third doesn't have a Y. So these are not in mean terms. So we have, are forced to create this in. Said our logic. So, nandito na page two. This is problem number four. No? Uh, I wouldn't redraw this again because I've shown you how to draw it. No? So, we have XYZ. Okay. This is X, X and Y. This is Y and not of Z. And this is not of X and Z. And we order them together. We have F. Okay. So, anyway, we'll just uh, trace this. Okay, so we start with zero, zero, zero. We are looking for mean terms. No? So we'll be looking for red ones. Okay, we're looking for mean terms, so we are looking for red boxes. So this is a zero, so we'll disregard this. Zero, zero, one. This is a one, so this is a red box. So therefore, we will include this. What's the mean term? Not of X, not of Y, Z. Do you follow? Because Z is a one. We, we, not of X because it's a zero here. Not of Y because it's a zero here. And Z because it's a one. Okay. Any questions? Now we proceed to the next row. Zero, one, zero. Zero, one, zero. Okay. It's a red, red one. It's a red box. Therefore, we have this as one. So the mean term is not of x, y, not of z. Any questions? No? You know how it's done? Not of x because it's a zero. Y because it's a one. Not of z because it's a zero. <clears throat> it's the opposite way if we were do, dealing with max terms, but this time we are dealing with mean terms. Okay? Zero, one, one. Okay, so we'll have zero, one. So this is a red one. So therefore, this is a one. Okay. So this is a mean term. So we'll have this as not of x, y, z. Okay. Then one, one, zero, zero. So this is now a block. So therefore, we'll just mark this as zero and skip. Okay. Then we proceed to the next one, zero, one. It's still a block, so we'll proceed to the next, and then we'll have one, 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 zero. So one, 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 zero. One, one, zero, it's a red, so therefore, this is a mean term. Okay, so we'll have x, y, not of z. You follow? And finally, we will have one, 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 so this is another mean term, the last mean term, x, y, z, okay? So we have the right answer now. We we'll just have to look up this up from the from, from the problem. Okay. So not of x, not of y, z. Not of x, and it also this cannot be not of x, not of y, 
z. This cannot be not, not of x, not of y, z. Followed by not of x, y, z, not of z. This one. Okay, followed by not of x, y, z. Followed by x, y, not z. And so this is letter E. Okay, any questions? Okay. So let's go to number five. We're now number five. No. This time we are looking for max terms. We follow. But the question is, do we need to uh, write down, create the circuit? Okay. POS canonical form, so we have to rewrite this into a max term. Okay. Let me just erase the solution. It was an existing solution. Okay. Let's look at closely. ABC is a mean term. Not ABC is another mean term. A not BC is another mean term. So all of them are mean terms. We don't have to create the circuit because uh, we know that all of them are mean terms. You only need to create the circuit if you're looking for mean terms. Okay? Do you follow? But this time the mean terms are known. So for the first mean term is ABC. So this is 1, 1, 1. The second mean term is not A, B, C. So this is 0, 1, 1. Okay. The third mean term is A, not B, C. So 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1. Okay. All the rest are zeros. So we are looking for zeros. So we look for the max term. So this is a max term. How do we write the max term? It's the opposite. If it's a zero, it's plain form. If it's a one, we complement. Okay. So A is a zero. So we'll say A. Plus this time because it's a max term. B is a zero. We'll say B. And C is a zero, so we'll say we'll say C. Where how do we know that it's zero? Because we have zero zero zero. Not here. No. Then zero zero one is another max term because it's a zero. So this is what A plus B plus not of C. We can just have, have copied. No. They follow. And then we can just copy this, and then put a not to the where the one is. No. The one is in B. Sorry. Sorry. No. Okay. The one is in B. So we put out a uh, not. No. You follow. Okay. We'll skip this because this is a one. And then we'll copy this again because there's only one one. The one is in the A. So therefore, it's an A where we put the complement. Okay. This is a one here. So therefore, we will skip this. And then we'll copy this because this is just similar. And we put a not to the B because it's also another one. Aside from A. Another one. So the last is one, one. The one, one, one is not a mean term. Rather a max term. And we are looking for zeros here. They follow. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. No? Because there are three mean terms. So therefore, there are five max terms. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But letter E is not a choice because A plus C and B plus C are not max terms. So therefore, we'll rule out letter E. So we're, our only choice will be A, C, and B. Okay. So C and D na lang tayo, no? Because A, B plus C, and then we'll have A plus B plus not of C. They're the same. A plus not of B, C. So this, so take note that it's different now, no? And then we'll just continue with C, no? To make sure it is. So A, not A, plus B plus C is there. And then not, the last is not A plus not B plus C. So letter C is the correct answer. So take note, no? We didn't have to use uh, Cedar logic all the time. Okay, we'll have to use similar logic all the time. No? Let me recheck the attendance no? before we proceed to the next, which is question number six. <coughs> Guelo. Reza. Present, sir. Kutanda. Espinosa. Guting. Jared. Present, sir. 
Iwata Kuki. Iwata. Kwan. Nasaan po? Para iso. Present po, sir. Pigaw. Present, sir. Pulido Recto. Recto, are you there? Rika. Is Rika here? Tanduyan. Present, sir. Okay, I'll check it once again after our... See, so we are now here in number six. Okay. Given the following expression, what is the equivalent max term expression? We have x plus y and x plus d, l plus z. So uh, these are not max terms. We could do this, no? We could do this using, you know, uh, the theories in Boolean algebra. But we could also do this using their logic. We will look for max terms. Okay. So this is number six. I, I have it here, no? On page three. This problem number six, okay? This is x plus y, quantity x plus y times quantity x plus z. Okay. Do you follow? We will be looking for black boxes here. Okay, black boxes ang hahanapin natin dito, right? Because uh, we are looking for max terms. Max terms, no F. Okay, so 0, 0, 0 is a max term. So this is, okay, X, sorry, this X plus Y plus Z. So take note that they are 0, so we do not complement because we are using max terms. No? Okay. And then 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is another black one. So therefore, uh, we are looking for a max term. This is a max term. So we are going to say x plus y plus not of z. Okay, we, we could also have copied it. No? Just copied it. And then we have 0, 1, 0. So it's black. Remember, we're looking for black boxes, not red boxes, because we're looking for max terms. Okay? So therefore, we can copy this and complement where the one is. The one is in the Y. Therefore, we'll put a Y here. Okay? And then 0, 1, 1. This is a red one, so therefore, therefore we'll skip it. Okay? Then, then we'll have one, zero, zero, zero. This is a red one. So we'll just also skip it. No. One, zero, one. This is another red one, so we'll just skip it. Okay, and then one, one, zero. This is another red one, we'll skip it. Okay, and then one, one, one. So we'll have this is another red one, so we'll skip it. So we now have the answer, okay? So we'll go back to our, no? so what we have as our answer, but look, <coughs> x plus y plus z. Okay, we can have this, and then x plus y not z plus not of z, and x, yes, so this is letter d is our correct, is our answer, okay. Any questions so far? We'll just finish this, okay? Dali na lang iba eh. Okay. Number seven. So anyway, others are easy. No? Uh, let me just go on this quickly. No? This is easy because we are supposed to get the, the equivalent SOP form. Do we need to create the, uh, no, the mean the circuit? No. Because these are max terms. A plus B plus C. Not A plus B plus C. And A plus not B plus C. These are max terms. So we know them to be this row. This row and this row. There are only three of them. Okay, this zero, this. And all the rest we mark as one. No? So this is when and we pick the 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 rows that are ones. Okay. 
So this is 0, 0, 1, so this is not A, not B, C. And this is 0, 1, 1, so this is not A, B, C. This one, 0, 1, so this is A, not B, C. So normal tayo dito na because we're looking for mean terms. A, B, not C, and this is A, B, C. So let's pick the answer. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. So can, di pwede ang A. 1, 2, 3. Pwede pala, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So not A, not B, C. Not A, B, C. A, not B, C. A, B, not C, and A, B, C. So letter A is the correct answer, okay? SOP canonical. Now, number eight. This is easy, no? I have, the, I have the answer here. Okay. Given the following expression, A, B, C, how many variables do we have? Four variables. A, B, C, and D. How many rows? There will be 16 rows. Because two to the fourth is... 16. This is number seven, by the way. No? Number eight? No? Number eight? I'm sorry. Sorry, this is... Uh, I have to change this. This is 16 rows. Limutan ko yung ano, no? Because there's a D below. There are 16 rows. I have to update. 16 rows. Sorry, I have to update now. Let me update that first. Ayaw niya. We'll have to update later, okay? Kasi it's still open. Close ko nga, no? We are on number 8. Made a mistake there, no? <clears throat> the rest will be not that difficult. No? Okay, so I've uploaded it anyway, no? So, uh, yeah. We're now on question number nine. Okay. Given the following truth table, what is the unsimplified SOP canonical form? So SOP sum of products. Okay, so uh, we are not given an expression. We are given a truth table. So therefore, uh, it's easy, no? SOP, sum of products, we'll be looking for the mean terms. So these are the mean terms, the, the rows that are ones, okay? And then we'll just write them down. Zero, 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 it's not A, not B, not C. And zero, zero, one is not A, not B, C. This, there's another one here. Zero, one, one, that's not A, B, C. B, C. And one, one, zero is A, B, not C. And one, 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 one is A, B, C, okay? Do you follow? So we, have, we just compare it here. We have one, two, three, four, five mean terms. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, can we try this? Yes. It's A not B, C. This is A, B, C. A, B not C. So this is letter A is the correct answer for number nine. Okay. Do you follow? So for number 10, three time, I hope we can finish this. This number 10. We have the same problem. SOP canonical form. So we are given the no, we look the rows, we look for the rows which are equivalent to one. Okay. So these are the rows. So we, this is not A, not B, not C. Not A, B, not C, not A, B, C. A, B, not C, and A, B, C. So we'll just look for the answer here. How many mean terms? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This is A. Not A, B. Not C, not A, B, C, A, B, not C. Uh, in the way, as the A, B, C are last, so A, B, C are last. So it will be C and D. A, B, not C, A, B, A, not A, B, C, not A, B, C, 
A, B, not C. A, B, C. This is correct, no? Okay, ba ito sila, no? Because uh, they're different in one line. Dito. Let, let me look at that. There's a difference. Not A. This, this one, the first line, okay? Okay, so letter E, make sure, no? It's not correct. Letter C is correct, okay? For number nine. Number 10, how many rows do we have for the following expression? We have A, A, B, C, and D also. So this is this is also 16 rows. Tama ba? A, B, C, and D, yes. So we'll have 16 rows, okay? This time, given this following expression, how many rows do we have? We only have A, B, and, A, B, and C, okay? So two to the third is eight, so we'll have eight rows. So we, we are now on number 13 very quickly. So we have 13, 14, 15, 16. We have four problems left. Okay. So you solve this on your own. No? Okay. So given the following expression, write the POS canonical form. Take note that we also have the variables in mean terms. So therefore, uh, we don't have to, we don't have to, uh, 11, four variables, three variables, yes. Uh, we don't have to draw the circuit. No? We don't have to draw the circuit because uh, we have the variables in mean terms. So these are the mean terms, no? Uh, not A, B, C, so 0 and 1. A, not B, C. Excuse me. Coach. Okay. So we only have three main terms, and this is A, not A, not B, not C. Do you follow? And this is A, not B, C. So this is the mean terms. So uh, all the rest we label as zeros. We look at the zeros, rows that are zeros. So we have this A, B as A plus B plus C, the zero, zero, zero. This A plus B plus not of C, zero, zero, one. And this A plus not of B plus C, zero, one, zero. And this A, not A plus not B plus C, one, one, zero. And this is not A plus not B plus not C, one, one, one. So how many do we have? We have five max terms. So anyway, we start with this, this, we'll just pick no, like A not B, C, not A not B plus C. And yeah, this is letter A. Any questions? So 14 na tayo. Okay. Number 14, given the following truth table, the POS canonical form. So we are given the truth table. No? So we look at for the rows which are zeros. We have only three rows. Okay, and we write down the mean the max term form. Not A is in is uncomplemented because it's zero. And B is not because it's one. Okay, and then so which we have the three. So anyway, we look look for that. No? A not plus not B C. A B C plus. And data pwede na because it doesn't have an A here. Okay, so we'll have uh, A not B, A not B, C, not A plus B, C. Okay, this is this is this letter D. Okay. So now we are on question 15. 16 is very easy. Uh, you work out this, okay? What is, the, what is the mean term? We all have max terms, no? We have three max terms, so zero. We'll identify the max terms. All the rest, identify them as ones. You work this out, so that the solution is there. No? Okay. I'd like to look out number 16. So number 16, ito. We have, what's the following max term expression? Well, this is a simple expression, and if you are going to build this on a uh, uh rather cedar logic this will take longer okay 
Therefore, we we'll just apply the Boolean algebra laws. No, uh, we we'll just. Uh, Okay. Okay, ganito, no? A plus not of B is a mean term, but A is not a, a max, max term. But A is not a max term. So to convert that to, to a max term, we add it with zero. And we add B and not of B because we know that B and not of B is a zero. Right? They follow. And obviously, no, uh, we can... In Boolean algebra, we can distribute addition. Okay, remember that, no? In Boolean algebra, we can distribute addition. However, we don't do that in normal algebra. So we distribute addition, we have A plus B and A plus not of B. And we substitute this to A, so we have A plus not of B. The original A is substituted. And take note that the third is similar to the first. So therefore, we just combine them together, okay? Because X and X is equal to X. So this is the max term form, okay? So uh, this is not a max term. So this is A plus not to B, the A plus B, so this is letter B, okay? Any questions so far? So any questions? Huh? Yung number 15. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Paano yung pag-distribute, sir? Paano pag Sa ano, kanina, sir? Ito, itong A plus B? Apo. Itong, itong A plus I, I distribute mo sa una sa B. Because this is strange because this is not applicable in normal algebra. No? In normal algebra, we cannot distribute addition. No? Itong, B, itong B and not B. You follow? It's like this. No? You follow? Ganito. Itong B, I distribute natin sa A. And the not B, we distribute to A. Do you follow? So this, this B, when distributed to A, it becomes A plus B. And this not B, when distributed to A, becomes A plus not B. This looks strange, no? Because this is only applicable in Boolean algebra. In normal algebra, we do not allow this. Do you follow? Uh, not that, sir. Sir? Yes. Paano po nagkaroon ng B ganit dyan, sir, yung, di ba, pag-add mo ng zero? Zero, yes. Parang we rule po. Zero with, with, we replace the zero with a missing variable. Mm, okay, What's the missing pa. variable? B, di ba? Okay. And to make B a zero, we say B and not of B. Because B and not of B is surely a zero, right? Mm -hmm. It's a zero. Uh, we use B because it's the missing variable. And this is a zero, so it doesn't hurt... It, it doesn't change the, the result, right? It doesn't hurt the expression because anything added with a zero is still a zero. Okay? And then we distribute the addition. Okay? Would you like to do this in a, in Cedar logic? Let's try to find out, no? Because I believe we can... Uh, this, sir. Do you have the same answer? Do you have the same answer? Yes. Perfect mom po yung ano. Excuse me, na. Excuse me, sama-sama. Okay. Dali lang. Excuse me a while, no? I just have to attend to something. I have a Shopee. Okay. Guys, pra practice ba ito na ano? Sa Daigler or like parang quiz talaga or ungraded to? Yung gina-answer ni siya? Uh, yung ungraded, yung practice test. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Pero ito okay. po niya for... Well, it's about na proper yun ang problema ko yung converting ba. Mm. Si Shopee daw si sir. Sa 11-11 yun ba? Okay. Hindi pala 9-9. Okay. So, what did you find? So what did you find? Pareho lang, di ba? Will you have the same answer? If you do this in ano? Do we have to do this in ano? In uh, Cedar Logic? No more, no? Obviously, you will get the same answer. Okay? Okay. So, uh, we will not yet have no? uh, a formative assessment because 
uh, we still have uh, one more topic. No? One more topic to finish, which is computer hardware. Now, in the computer hardware part, we will look at how certain components no, of the CPU are constructed or are designed using Boolean logic. Okay, like the ALU, the CPU, how, how is it inside no, with Boolean gates, logic gates. Okay. So I think we're early today. No, natapos natin lahat. Uh, you solve it your own again. It will help you a lot. No? Okay. So uh, no, no more newcomer, no? Si Kuting, na-check ko na ba? Yes. You can uh, look for the solution. It's already uploaded. No? Excuse me, sir. My last question, po, sir. Yes. Pag expressions talaga, siya, sir. Is it necessary to use the Cedar logic talaga to see? No. You only use Cedar logic if the expression is not in min term or max term form. Do you follow? Okay. Like in this case, why do we use Cedar logic? Because A B is not a min term. C D is not a min term. A B C is not a min term. However, if no. These are mean terms. You don't have to use Cedar logic. You just go through the truth table directly. Okay? Do you follow? Yes, sir. Because no, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. it's a Cedar logic, we are using Cedar logic to hunt for the mean terms, the desired mean terms and max terms. Okay? But of course, you can use Boolean algebra huh? also. Okay? Any questions? So, uh, wala na tayong nata wala nang newcomer, no? Is there a newcomer? Yan na siguro. Aguelo. Espinosa has been absent for a long time. Iwata, Kuki. Lido Recto. Rika. Okay. See you next meeting. You answer the test again now. Make a review. Because we'll have one more topic before our next formative assessment. Okay. So thanks everyone Thank for you, coming. Sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.